thing. I, I study fossils and deep earth geology and, uh, you know, how petroleum is uh, sublimated out and the, the processes of the transitions of rocks and things like that in the earth. It's just sort of boring stuff. But I found some very, very interesting stuff. And as a result of that, I started to investigate how the earth is creating these things and what these things are and so forth. And what you see here are blue holes. And these blue holes are all over the earth. And those holes I've come to find out and I have the supporting evidence and I'm, I'm sure it's correct. Uh, you know, I'd, I'd certainly like to have it see, looked at. It could, it could be wrong, but I'd like to see somebody come up with a contradictory factual disagreement. And if it is right, it, it, it becomes critically important. Now, these holes, I believe, are the digesters for the earth. Those are the things that feed the earth. And, I, and the earth, I'm, I'm pretty sure, is alive. <laughs> I know it sounds crazy. I sound like I'm I'm way out there, but I have literal physical evidence to show that the Earth is alive, and these holes digest food. I'm going to show you uh, um, dives where they go right through, and it's identical to uh, you know a digestive system. Now, these are what's happening in Florida and Russia. These are those blue holes dying. Now, these were underneath the tundra, and they weren't seen, but they still are the digesters. Now, as the tundra recedes, it's just caving in because the digesters are dying. Methane gas is coming up in the decomposition of the earth, of the life of the earth, is what I'm saying. Now, this may not be, you know, don't panic. I mean, nobody's going to even pay attention, probably, but certainly you wouldn't panic about this because we don't know. We don't know what's going on there, but um, there's there's the ones in Florida are virtually identical to this, virtually identical, and they're gigantic, and this is happening all over the place, and, and they're very bizarre formations. Look at these holes here. That is vascular entries into the earth from the digester or the other way around. I'm not sure, but they're vascular entries. And this exact same structure is seen elsewhere, and I will show you that. And it's uh, and it's it's hard to overlook. And if it is true, it's something that needs to be looked at. It may not be anything. It may be something. This is in the, the Florida sinkholes, and they call them sinkholes. But look at that. That is exactly circular. These things don't. They're not like cracks and, and divots and things like that. Look at that thing. These are houses around there. This was a living blue hole. A life was under there at some point, and now it's 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 collapsing. Now, I have a theory that the reason these things are collapsing is we've taken so much stuff out of the earth. Something has to give somewhere, and I believe that's what's going on here. Now, is that killing the earth? I, and I, I have almost absolute unimpeachable evidence that the earth is alive. I right, look at the structures in this, the stripes, the different dark and light stripes, and the uh, oxides, the red oxides up in there and everything. Now, it shows that this is a vascular entryway, and this is arterial vessels that are supplying blood to this tissue, which is muscular tissue. This red stuff, all that dust, is iron oxide from the blood that has dried. Mars is dead, and you should see the pictures in here. Go to this site, Journey to the Mars of uh, to Journey to the Surface of the Mars. It will blow you away. They have all kinds of pictures of pyramids and skulls, and there's absolutely no question it was alive. I think it was is dead now. Anyway, this is my statements, and we need to look at what we have here on Mother Earth because we don't want to go this way. So that's the case. All right, you've seen the spacecraft. My statement is, is that if this hole was tipped sideways and all of this eroded away from that hole, you would still see these vascularization tubes sticking out, and that's what's happened in that crab. All right, this is a little concerning. Twenty baby craters just started popping up near the, uh, the giant craters in Siberia. This is the area in Siberia that's... Um, that's having this issue right. 
All right, this is an article by uh, Brianne Kirby, very, very nicely done. And she is exploring in a dive in a blue hole. And she says, I'd imagine that I was a tiny mi microbe moving through the gut of some impossibly large and fantastic beast, because she really literally was. And then she goes on to thinking of the specific topology of the blue hole uh, specific topology of the human gastrointestinal system, the mouth to the anus. Now, I have all of this stuff documented, and I have all of this stuff on other videos. I have nine videos that I'm explaining this, and I'm explaining the foliations of the earth, the fabric of the earth. The earth is alive, and, and, and there's virtually no question about it. So, something's got to be looked at. This is a deep hole, a deep blue hole dive by Jonathan Bird. Uh, Jonathan Bird's Blue World, very, very good, very good guy, and excellent on um, public TV, and here he goes, listen carefully. The bottom looks like it's sand, but it's actually a deep layer of silt. While Tim hovers high above the bottom to keep from kicking up silt, I perform a little experiment. Listen Down to this. on the bottom, I plunge my arm this into is the what silt our mother up to my eating. shoulder, and it's even deeper than that. This is a layer of decomposing leaves and other organic stuff. The decomposition creates hydrogen sulfide, a deadly gas that juice. smells like rotting eggs. The water is saturated with hydrogen sulfide, and I can smell it in the water that seeps around the edge of my mask. We all know that smell. All right, this is the final part I'm going to show you blue about. Blue hole connects through a vast labyrinth of caves that is to the inland digestive blue system. And as we emerge into the open ocean, something looks weird. When the tide goes out, all the water from inside the caves gets sucked out into the ocean, bringing Poop. with it silt and hydrogen sulfide from the inland blue holes. Poop. It forms clouds near the bottom with a distinct line between the clear ocean water above and the silty hydrogen sulfide layer below. Check out the mucus what from you're mucus seeing memory. Here are the decomposing remains of forest vegetation which have passed entirely <clears throat> through the caves and out into the ocean. Sounds like the justice system to me. Everywhere I look like strands of mucus floating in the water. Same it's stuff in ours. It's likely mucus secreted by the coral in response to the caustic hydrogen sulfide. No, it isn't. It's stuck on everything, including this gorgonian, which has closed all its polyps to protect itself from the hydrogen sulfide. As the tide carries the toxic water away, the corals will go back to normal. Finally, we head back to the boat. Tim and Mike That's Mother Earth the anchor line.